Dominic Fazioli and his dad Cosmo see things a little differently now. I'm trying really hard not to sweat the small stuff, you know, because I've, it, it's really, uh, it, it is life changing. What's life changing? Dominic indirectly saved his dad's life. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad is back. At 73, Cosmo's recovering from a kidney transplant. I'm feeling very well, just a little weak, you know. But that's nothing compared to the past four years when Cosmo was on dialysis. Huh, tough, very tough. Dominic couldn't stand to see his dad this way. He wanted to donate his kidney but wasn't compatible. Then he found out about this program, the Living Donor Paired Exchange Kidney Registry. For patients who have a living donor but are incompatible, and also for, for patients who are uh, difficult to find a match. Dr. Gabriel Chan is a kidney surgeon with the Maisonneuve Rosemont Hospital. He conducted the hospital's first transplant based on this program. Uh, they enter a, a computer registry uh, that's nationwide um, and routinely, usually about uh, once a month, the computer will analyze the patients within the registry to determine um, the largest number of pa pairs that could uh, be entered into a, a sequence to allow the most people to benefit uh, each time. In the Fazioli's case, they were part of a chain of six people in three different cities. We caught up with Dominic 24 hours before his own surgery back in August. I, I can't believe I'm here. After years of tests. I mean, every part of my body has been checked. You know, uh, MRIs, blood tests, uh, physical training tests. Uh, I've met with psychologists. He was getting ready to donate his kidney to a stranger. At, at, the, at first, I, I didn't like the idea, but that's the way it is. You know, I'm, I'm just grateful that, uh, you know, all the stars are aligned and they, they found people, in, you know, t t to make this happen. All to save his dad. Uh, look, my, my dad's done everything for us. I don't think I've told my dad enough that I, that I love him, but I hope this, sh I hope this, I, I hope this helps send the message to him. Four days later, his dad was on the operating table receiving his kidney. Dr. Chan says patients on this list are more likely to get a kidney faster than if they weren't paired. What's also interesting about the registry is there are what's known as non-direct anonymous donors. Now, these are people who don't have a relative waiting for an organ, they just want to help out. They're altruistic donors perhaps, um, but uh, really they're the ones that spark a lot of these chains. Chains that in the end help save lives. The last three years my life was awful just happy. Happy that his dad and another person have a second chance.